Hey guys, it's Kayla and Mark Allen. We like to travel a lot, especially to Disney World. Follow along on our journey as we give you tips and tricks to help you create your own ever after. Tonight we are dining at California Grill in Disney's Contemporary Resort. It is the restaurant that is at the very, very top of this hotel and has beautiful, beautiful views of the Magic Kingdom. It's really exciting. We've got the fireworks that are going to be happening in about... 25 minutes or so um, and we have a great view from our table. We may go out to the balcony and watch but we'll see. We are also here doing the 50th anniversary special like specialty prefix dining option. Um, so it, they have a bunch of dishes that are celebrating some of the most popular dishes throughout the past however long this restaurant has been open. 50 years. 50 years. <laughs> um, and so you get it, each person gets to choose a appetizer, entree, and dessert. The starting price is $89 a person. And then there is a wine pairing that you can do for an additional $39. And we, I believe, are gonna go ahead and do that tonight because why not? <laughs> so we just placed our order and we are gonna be just hanging out and waiting until our food gets here and we'll let you know our thoughts. And of course, we're gonna show you some of the beautiful fireworks. All right, so bread and our appetizers and our first wine ha have all arrived. So what I got, and I'm reading off the menu here, so uh, I got the house-made house -made artisanal style duck a la orange pizza. It's duck prosciutto and confit, pickled shallots, orange black mission fig jam, aged blue cheese and arugula. And for my wine pairing, it is the Bile Vineyards Black Chicken Zinfandel from Napa Valley. I've already tasted the wine. Absolutely fantastic. Highly, highly recommend that glass of wine. Um, and then the bread, um, if I remember right, we've had the bread before. It was really, really good. It does come with butter and some uh, olive oil for dipping. And I'm excited to dig in. There's like, I think there's a sauce or something on this. That's really, really good. But you can't, that duck is super, super good. Very flavorful. Wow. I'm like speechless. This is delicious. Oh, wow. It's cooked beautifully. The crust is really, really nice. It's more of a thin crust. Um, but nice and nice and crispy too. Okay, and then for my appetizer, I got this beautiful, beautiful sushi roll. Um, so I got the cascade roll. It's tuna, salmon, and hamachi poke, jacama cucumber, yuzu avocado puree, masajo ar uh, arare, arare, and soy gel. And then for my drink, uh, let's see if I can pronounce this. It's the Ichishima Karen Koi Sake from Jum uh, Junmai, um, which I've only had sake one other time, I think. And it was not good, but it was like from a weird, like not great sushi place. And so uh, I'm hoping that this will, this will probably be better. I'm gonna try sushi first and then I'm gonna try my drink. Very, very, very fresh. Almost has a creamy taste to it. You really have to like raw fish. I love raw fish, but you really have to like raw fish to like this uh, particular sushi roll because it is very raw. But no, that's very, very good. The flavors are very light. Like I said, it's just a little bit creamy. I like that a lot. Let's try the sake and see how that tastes. Oh, that's good. It kind of almost reminds me of like a rosy flavor a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, there's something in there that does that. It has 
kind of a rosy taste or rosy flavor note to it. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed so far. I'm very excited too because we only have exactly 10 minutes to fireworks. Okay, our main course just arrived. Mark Allen and I actually both got the same thing. Mark Allen always gets the filet, and I always regret not getting the filet everywhere we go. So tonight, I got the filet. <laughs> Oak-fired filet of beef with black truffle brown butter chateau potatoes, golden raisins, vinaigrette, cauliflower, and roasted tomato butter. And then we got the wine pairing with it. So that is the nickel and nickel quicksilver vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon Napa from Napa Valley. And I already cut my steak in half and it is literally cooked perfectly. I like my steaks medium rare. I usually prefer them a little more bloody. This one's not bloody, but it's really pink. Um, so even though it's not bloody, I can tell that it's cooked very well. Oh, that looks so good. That's incredibly tender. Kind of melts in your mouth a little bit. And there's a lot of flavor. There's a really good char on the outside. You can tell it's seasoned very well. That's very, that's excellent. So good. I'm really curious to see what Mark Allen thinks. Oh yeah, you could like almost cut this with a butter knife. Oh, it cuts beautifully. Cuts like butter. That is so incredibly tender. Like Kayla said, the char is fantastic. A lot of great flavor in that char. Seasoned beautifully. I like a little bit, just a touch more salt on mine, but the seasoning is really, really good. The wine pairing is very, wow. That really develops on your palate. The dryness hits you first, but then that steak kind of sits, is still sitting on your tongue and it brings out a lot of that really, really good fruitiness of that wine. It kind of evolves as you drink it. That's really, really good. I like that a lot. Clearly. It's terrible. Clearly it was terrible. Oh, so bad. I have to say, I think that that might be the best steak I've had on property. It was so good. There was like that tomato, what do they call it? Oh, you can keep these menus, by the way. It was a roasted tomato butter that was served, like it was on the same side as that steak. So good. It was basically like a steak sauce without being a steak sauce. Paired beautifully, gave us a nice sweetness to the steak. I will say Jiko, when we ate there last night was, it's just an entirely different steak. Entirely different flavors, entirely different pairings. If I had one steak dinner to choose from though, I think I would choose this. I think the experience, like getting able to see the Magic Kingdom and potentially the fireworks depending on what time you come, I think the experience, if, if you're gonna pay that type of money, to me I think California Grill beats it. Although Jico is fantastic. The service was impeccable at Jico. But as far as flavors and getting your money's worth, I think California Grill right now has that a little bit of an extra 
value because of the view, because of the fireworks. Again, if you can snag a reservation around fireworks time. So here's how I feel. I think it is very good. It is all really, really delicious. I think that California Grill is better for people who like fancy food, but they like things that are a little safer and then a little more like, I don't want to say basic because it's not basic, but Tradi it's, traditional. it's more traditional. Thank you. Yeah. It's more traditional flavors. I personally like things that are a little more adventurous better. And so I think that's why I liked Jico better just because the flavors were a little more out there and that's what really appeals to me. But I do see where Mark Allen, and, and I think that's something to know too, is that between Mark Allen and I, I'm a little bit more of an adventurous eater, whereas Mark Allen's a little bit pickier. He tends to like the more traditional flavors. And so I think that's why he is going to be more um, attracted to something like California Grill, whereas I'm going to be more attracted to something more like Chico. So that's something to think about when you're trying to decide which one of these dining experiences you uh, are interested in. And if you want to see our full D Chico dining review, I'll make sure to have that linked in the description box. Because um, overall, I would say they're, they're both about the same level of dining experience. Um, they're just two totally different like theming ambiance that sort of thing but it's all delicious either way okay so our dessert just got here I actually got the cheese selection, so it comes with a empty tam, a Humboldt fog, and a bay blue. So basically there's like a, a creamy cheese, a goat cheese, and a blue cheese, and then it has the accompaniments. Um, so first I'm trying like the creamy cheese with the uh, candied date. That's really good. The date is obviously very sweet because it's candied, but... The flavor is really good, and the cheese itself is very creamy. Very mild and flavored, I would say. It's not like a super strong, overpowering cheese. If you like trying different cheeses, this is a good board to try because it's none of the flavors of cheese are overpowering or way strong or way like weird in flavor. They're pretty true to what you would expect from each of these types of flavors. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. And then it, this one pairs with a port wine, which is really good. It's very smooth and it's very sweet. I will say like, there's a teensy teensy bit of kind of like a medicinal taste to it, um, just because it's so strong. So if you're not into that, you may not like it. Um, but if you really like port wines, you'll probably really like that one. And then I got the lavender sugar donuts. Now, when we came to California Grill the last time back in, uh, for New Year's of 2019, we actually shared this dessert and I loved it so much. I was like, I, if that's on the menu, I have to get it. It was so, so good. I love lavender. Kayla doesn't really like lavender but it's coconut frozen dessert, blueberry gin jam, and pistachio crumble. And so I'm so excited. So it's got like two little donuts and then basically your little blueberry stuff. That's a happy boy right there. These donuts are so good. They're I know a lot of you hate this word, but they're very moist. They're also like, they're obviously coated in sugar. And so it gives it a nice, like kind of texture on the sugar. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try this lavender um, ice cream basically. Oh. Wow. The lavender is not super, super strong, but it's definitely there. But that is the, um, it's the coconut frozen dessert. Now that I read that, I definitely, 
and now that I think about it, I definitely get more of that coconut, which it's really, really good. It goes, all, all these flavors just go so, so, so well together. It was. That was like almost three hours. Now, granted, 15 minutes of that was, I mean, probably more than like 15 minutes was just fireworks, but. Still, that's a long dinner. Yeah, so I think know that going into it, if you are coming to California Grill. Don't try and plan anything afterwards because you won't have, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, at least during fireworks time. Now, if you're coming like. For lunch or something, I don't think they do lunch right I now. I don't think they do lunch. But if you are planning on doing dinner, just yeah. know that you are going to be here for a long time. It is very slow. Not in like a bad way. It's just yeah. like a you're meant to sit and savor your food. So right, it does right. take a long time. It's not right. it's not a quick dining experience. Well, like for especially if you're coming to do the 50th, it's three courses. Yeah. So they do give you time to really eat each course, drink your, if, if you're doing the wine pairing like what we did, I think that's why ours took a little bit longer because they, you know, we didn't just gulp down each glass of wine. It was a really good dinner. Was it the best meal I've ever had? No, I don't think I don't, so. I don't think There's... so either. However, I, I thought this was honestly one of the best meals I've had on property. It's an excellent choice for those of you that want something fancier, more celebratory, but don't want something that's super adventurous. Overall, I think it just really depends on what you and your family like. Um, yeah. And I think knowing that going into it, I mean, this is gonna be a, a pleaser for, for most anybody. Now they do take annual pass, but overall, I mean, it's it's still a very expensive meal. Don't I would wrong. recommend it if you're like celebrating something um, or you have like a big milestone or whatever, this is definitely your more like celebratory type dining experience right. as well. Right. Um, but overall, yeah, I, I would recommend eating at Cali Grill. There's For just sure. something I really cool it. about getting to watch the fireworks from at the top on that private balcony and it, it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We do still have quite a bit more <laughs> adventures coming at you from this trip, so make sure you're subscribed. But that's what we have for you guys today. Now, now go create your ever after. Okay. Good? Yeah. Tonight we are dining here at Disney's uh, Contemporary. Yeah, okay, forgot where we were. Okay, tonight we are dining here at Disney's Contemporary Resort at, oh my God, this is really hard to say, California, okay.